Hey, welcome to the beginning of our week of prayer and fasting. It is so good that you are joining us today for these few moments that, that we start with, with prayer together and spending a little bit of time in God's Word. And so today, Pastor Josh Welcher, who's at our Broken Arrow campus, has come and talking to us uh, about how we pray and how we pursue God. Pastor Josh. Thanks, Keith. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for what God is going to do this week through us as we are truly praying and pursuing him. And you know, one of the things that I would love for us to just kind of start by considering, what is it to, to win this week or, or to succeed throughout the course of this week? You know, I know many of us have a bit of a competitive nature to us. So we want to win. And even if you're not a, a hyper-competitive person, the truth is none of us want to lose. I mean, we all want to win. We want to succeed in all the arenas of our life, whether it's, whether it's our home, whether it's at work, whether in our education as, as we're pursuing schooling. And I think that's even true when it comes to our faith. I don't know if you've ever had this experience in your faith journey before, but there's been certain times and seasons where I found that in my prayer life, it's, it's almost as if I'm bargaining with God. I'm, I'm going to God, I'm saying, I'm saying, God, if, if you would do this, or if you would show up in this arena, then I promise I will do this. Uh, or God, if, if I go and I do this, and if I do that, then, then would you show up in this way and, and do that? And I think many of us have, have done that at different times. And if you were to ask us, I don't think we would say that we're necessarily trying to manipulate God. I think we would probably just say we're looking for a win-win, you know, we're trying to, to win in an outcome uh, pertaining to a certain circumstance or situation we're facing. And, and then it's a win for God and, and us doing something for him. But the fault with that logic, the error in that thinking, really is assuming that God needs a win. You know, we, we know from Scripture that God has already won because of what has taken place on the cross, the resurrection of Jesus, sin and death is no more. And so God doesn't need that win, but I think when we are entering into this week of prayer and fasting, one of the dangers is that we can begin to place expectations on top of God. That we can think if, if we do this, then maybe God will do this. In fact, when we look at this picture that's painted for us in Isaiah 58, we see that this is exactly what was happening. You've got the people of God and they're frustrated. And in verse 3, they say, we have fasted before you. They said, why aren't you impressed? But God responds, it's because you are fasting to please yourselves. And as this week of prayer and fasting really begins, I think it's worth for us to take a moment to really examine our hearts, to allow God to reveal what is it that we are hoping for, what is it that we are expecting. Because the truth is we can't manipulate God. We can't bend his will towards ours. Scripture tells us that God is unchanging, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And so as we go through this fast, the only thing that's subject to change is us. We cannot align God's will to our desired outcome, but we must align our will with God's desired outcome. And I believe that that is the win. That is how we will succeed as we go through this week. It's seeing our hearts beginning to be aligned with the heart of God. It's seeing our wills being fully submitted to the will of God. In fact, Isaiah 58 goes on to show us the heart and the will of God. In verse 6 and 7, it says that this is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that bind people. Share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless. Give clothes to those who need them and do not hide from relatives who need your help. I mean, the heart and the will of God as we look through that, it's all about others. It's going and pressing into the needs and, and, and the, the issues that others are going through. And, and so I want us to take a moment today, wherever you're watching this from, and to really just allow God to reveal what, what are the expectations within our heart. As we pursue him, what, what are the things that we are hoping for? What are we defining as a win and success? Is it simply just to make it through this week? 
Is our heart really just hoping that if we do this, then maybe God will answer that prayer that we've been praying for years? Or is our heart's true desire to be conformed to the image of Christ, to be rescuing those who need to be rescued, to help those who have been oppressed? And so take a moment and just allow God to speak to your heart. And then let me go ahead and pray over us. God, we, we do thank you for this time. We thank you for this week that we get to pursue you. And, and Father, I pray that, that as we enter into this moment, that, that you would reveal to us any areas of our life, of our hearts, that aren't aligned with your calling. God, we want to seek and pursue your purposes, your plans, your will. We want to see your kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. And God, we are so excited for what will become of of our lives continuing to be shaped and modeled after Christ. So we thank you. We give this week, we give this day, we give this very moment to you in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Josh. Hey, make sure and join us today at noon uh, for a time of prayer and worship and encouragement. We all need each other as we go through this week. We are united together in, in making a difference in each other's lives and in the lives of our community. So there is also opportunity for you to be able to serve and to act out that Isaiah 58 passage. And so you can go online to battlecreekchurch.com forward slash fast and you can get more information about the fast, uh, devotions for each day this week, and finding a place to serve and to, and to put action to what you're asking God to do in your own life uh, this week. God bless you. We can't wait to see you again tomorrow and to spend this time together with you. God bless you.